Jarvis, drop my needle. Hey Parasites, and welcome to another special origin episode from the Spider-Verse. Hey guys. Gwanda? It's Gwen, actually. For decades, any time the name Gwen Stacy was mentioned to Spider-Man fans, it always led to the conversation about her death. Rarely did fans talk about her life, but that's how anyone close to us should be remembered. For their life, not their death. Some fans argued that Gwen was too boring, but I know for a fact that Peter Parker never saw her that way, and neither do I. Gwen just didn't get to live long enough to show more people how amazing she truly was. Enter the Spider-Verse and the story of Spider-Woman of Earth-65, aka Spider-Gwen. Created by writer Jason Latour and artist Robbie Rodriguez, based on a concept by Dan Slott, Spider-Gwen first appeared in the pages of Edge of Spider-Verse number 2, which released in September of 2014. Selling over 250,000 copies, it was clear that Spider-Gwen was a hit. And soon after at New York Comic Con in October of 2014, Spider-Man editor Nick Lowe announced an ongoing series for the character. So what is the origin of Earth-65 Gwen Stacy? Well, in this universe, the story begins not too unlike a typical Spider-Man origin story. A group of Midtown High School students are on a field trip at a science lab when an experimental spider escapes from captivity. Only this time, instead of landing near Peter Parker and biting him, turning him into the amazing Spider-Man, the spider ended up on Gwen Stacy and bit her, turning her into the radioactive Spider-Woman. With her new power, Gwen came out of her shell a bit and joined a band with her friends called the Mary Janes. MJ Watson on vocals and guitar, Glory Grant as the writer of their songs and keyboard player, Betty Brant on bass, and Gwen is the drummer. They have a girl drummer. There was another member of the band, Felicia Hardy, on backup vocals, but her absence from the group is a story for another day. As Gwen owned her new superpowers, she took a page from her father's book and decided to help those in need. Taking on the identity of Spider-Woman, Gwen starts to make a name for herself as a hero around New York City. But her father, George Stacy, a police captain, does not approve of vigilantism. Staying out of the police's way, things began going pretty well for Spider-Gwen. And that's usually the time in a Spider-Person story where things take a bad turn. Beyond being in a band and being a superhero, Gwen also made a friend in her classmate Peter Parker, whom she often defended against bullies. Learning about Gwen's superhero life, this version of Peter Parker wanted to be stronger too, just like his best friend. Using a serum that he came up with in Dr. Connors' science lab, this world's Peter Parker transformed himself into the Lizard. Having no control over the transformation, Peter goes on a rampage as the Lizard, and Gwen is forced to stop him. But the serum Peter took was too much, and as he reverted back to his human form, he soon died in the arms of Gwen Stacy. All spider people have an Uncle Ben moment. This was Gwen's and the grief hurt her nearly beyond repair. To make things even worse, Spider-Woman is blamed for the murder of Peter Parker and becomes public enemy number one. Gwen's band life starts falling apart as she misses practice and sometimes even actual gigs. She struggles in school, she pushes people she cares about away, and she loses herself in the responsibilities that come with being a superhero. And with her father leading the hunt and arresting her as Spider-Woman, Gwen becomes truly alone. But despite being an outlaw, Gwen is still the hero of her story, and heroes do what they can to save lives. When the kingpin of crime, Matt Murdock, targets Captain Stacy, sending the rhino to kill him, Spider-Woman arrives to save her father. But her act of heroism wasn't enough for the old police captain. Cornered by her dad, Gwen is forced to reveal her identity in order to prevent him from arresting her. Conflicted, George lets his daughter go before backup arrives to take her in. Branded as the murderer of her best friend, hunted by the cops, led by her father who now knows her secret identity, and on the verge of getting kicked out of her band and losing the few remaining friends that she has, Gwen Stacy of Earth-65 definitely has the complicated life of a spider person. And this is only the beginning of her story, and we will cover more of this journey through the web of the multiverse in future videos. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our coverage. Let us know your thoughts on this video in the comments below and we'll continue the conversation down there. Don't forget to like and share if you enjoyed this video. More to come very soon. Thanks for watching. See you in the future. Peace.